What's up fam and welcome to this episode of Rex's Photo Booth Reviews and Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about secret iPad booth printing hacks. But before we get started, remember I'm the buy and try guy so you don't have to. Help keep the channel alive, like and subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about secret iPad booth print hacks. Everybody knows when doing iPad booth printing, there's two ways to do it. The first one is wireless and the second one is wired. Everyone's first choice is wireless because it's very clean and you can set the printer up and out of the way of the guest. The drawback is it requires stable Wi-Fi. If you happen to be in a venue with sketchy Wi-Fi or internet, that's the beginning and end of a good event. This is where wired printing comes in. While most people have used the DMP WCM2 or Windows print server, most people don't know these can be hardwired. Don't ever worry if your Wi-Fi goes out. I have a hack that'll save your event. Most people don't know that you could hardwire this wireless print server, the DMP WCM2, has an Ethernet port on there. You can now take an Ethernet cable, plug it into the WCM. On the other end, you will plug it into the Ethernet adapter for your iPad. This setup right here is around $40 and it's going to save your event. I want to show you guys the setup. So I'm going to go to my settings right here and you're going to notice Wi-Fi is off because it is sketchy and it's ruining my event. But did you know, hey, you can, you actually have an ethernet setting in your iPad, but it doesn't show up. That's why this is a hidden hack. Once you get the Ethernet adapter and you plug it in, it'll automatically register on your iPad right there. It says Ethernet, guys. We can take a closer look here. Once we plug in the Ethernet adapter, the iPad will automatically recognize it and show up on the screen. Now we're going to go ahead and run a session and I'm going to show you how this works. So you're going to go ahead and hit touch here to start. It's going to do a countdown right here, thumbs up. Gonna take my picture. It's gonna allow me to print. I get to select how many copies, I want one. It's going to send the data or the image to the wireless connect server and then it'll print out on your printer. Here it goes. Now you see the print coming. I'm gonna warn you guys, while this method works and it's highly reliable, it still takes about 30 seconds to process the photo plus the time it takes for your printer to print. There you go, right there. With the next method, we're going to be using a Windows PC again back to our ethernet adapter. Since my laptop does not have a ethernet port, I'm gonna get a ethernet to USB adapter. If your computer has an ethernet port, you can plug this directly into your computer. Since I do not, I had to go get a adapter. Once I plug it in, it should automatically register. And again, I do not have internet. I'll show you right here. Once I've established the connection, I can go ahead and take a photo. Can you guys see that? Right here. I'm going to go ahead and start a session. This is two piece for two. I'm going to take my photo. It'll allow me to choose to print. I'm able to print. It says how many copies, but this will really blow you away. While the WCM took 30 seconds, 
this probably less takes less than three. You can see it's already sent the print into the queue and you can hear right away the printer is already printing. So this is a rock solid hack when you don't have Wi-Fi. See how fast that is guys? And if you guys are wondering, in this video I'm using the DMP QW410. This is the smallest and lightest printer in their lineup. Creates beautiful looking 4x6s. Has a lot of other options as well. I'll leave that in the link. As well as the link to everything I used in the video for you. Just in case you guys are wondering, why is the laptop so much faster? The reason is because of size, price, and processing power. There's a trade-off for the portability of the DMP WCM2. You guys know, a Rexus Photo Booth Reviews tutorial is not a tutorial without a bonus hack. And this bonus hack will blow you away. So this last hack requires that you have a regular USB iPhone or iPad charging cable. In this case, it's lightning to USB-A. This is what I use to charge my phone or my iPad. The second item you're gonna need is a MacBook of any kind. This was a MacBook Air that I bought on Amazon for like $99. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So you're gonna go ahead and connect the lightning end to the iPad like you're gonna charge it. And then you take the other end, USB, and plug it into the uh, Mac Air. Please note, this is a 2011 refurbished MacBook Air that I bought online. I want you guys to see in this last method we are not using internet and the Wi-Fi is off. The protocol that we're using is AirPrint. So we're going to go ahead and run a session. Watch this. Here you go. We're going to do double thumbs up right here. Take a photo. We're going to choose print. We're going to select the number of copies. It's already sending the data right there. It says printing. In less than two seconds, the printer has engaged and has already started to print. This is without any dongles. This is the standard Apple charging cable connected to a MacBook and it is using AirPrint protocol. Watch. I think that was less than 20 seconds, including the print of the photo. Look how fast and how sharp that is. So in conclusion, guys, get these cables in your bag. I'm going to link all of these accessories from Amazon in the description below. Your Ethernet cable, your Ethernet adapter, your Ethernet to USB to work with your DMP and Windows print server. But the true hack and the true winner right here is your iPhone charging cable and a Mac on AirPrint protocol. And until next time, guys. Lastly, when I see that you're subscribed and liking the content, it motivates me to make more.